redshift here, joining my part to shift perceptions out of the pink and into the red. This is Forgotten Fury and I doubt a no man. And as I've been up to, I'm going to go ahead and respond to one of Redshift's, or several of Redshift's videos. So without further ado, let me get into it. Um, commentary on Depression, the Hidden Epidemic. Um, I, recall your up, or I recall your upload entitled, In Praise of Chris Cantu, and his video called Burning Bridges. I have suffered my, um, more than multiple people combined, on average, and I've contemplated suicide almost every day since I was like 12, okay? However, although I have severe depression, anger issues, uh, post-traumatic stress disorder, all of those are according to a state-funded affirmative action sponging Caucasian princess of a psychologist. Uh, yet, um, I've never taken the route that he did in his video, nor was I taken care of as a youth as you and he both were. Um, he, he's an affirmative action recipient, all right, as a brown man, and a former high-rolling salesman turned homeless man uh, who was too prideful to take a lower-paying job or a lower-tier job. That's one thing, all right? Uh, an entirely different thing is a man not willing to lower his standards, as it is with most true force loneliness men. Before I go on about that, one might say, Hey, Forgotten Fury, and you wouldn't dare say that to his face. But, yeah, I would. Okay? And as evidence, as evidence for that, um, I used to know someone named Corey, who was just as red, twice as belligerent, and considerably bigger and stronger than Mr. Cantu is, and was also a closeted alcoholic and or drug addict, and I told him the same thing. Being strong does weaken the elastic recoil in um, bodybuilders unless they, they properly, and I mean properly, stretch out of their entire body, especially the serratus anterior muscle or the boxer's muscle. I fought guys like that plenty of times and the scrappy scrawny guy had a better chance than they did. They were just big, slow, and weak and their muscles tear easy. And by weak, I mean not able to apply their strength. Okay, it was show muscle. They're like a big show pony. Okay, so um, your boy is an overly egotistical govy buddy who is as juvenile as he is lazy and as prideful as he is hedonistic and is as mentally weak as he is physically strong. I was at the point of wanting to kill myself and crying like a baby back bitch at the age of 12. But at the um, age of 30, I find it disgusting in adults. Now, Corey was someone who, um, ha or has someone to take care of him now, and Mr. Cantu eventually lowered his standards, improved his life, um, embraced being a grifter, and abandoned his home, his home country, that is, all in one fell swoop. And like Corey, he retired with a good name and reputation in spite of it all. In their own respective circles, at least. I wish them and you quite well. Uh, yet the eyes are the window to the soul, and one is hard-pressed to hide who they are. Just the way it is, alright? Uh, your video rebuttal to the last 25% of Coltane's mental versus physical aptitude. Uh, before I get started, the aforementioned upload made it into my liked playlist um, during a meditation break that same day, which is a rare accomplishment, making it into one of my playlists. And I was excited to see that um, my guy, um, Eric the Redshift, had something to say about Coltane's video, making that upload the third of his to make it into my liked playlist. The first two were his videos called Dogs, AI, and Air Conditioning, and Occam's Razor. They're excellent. And if you haven't already checked them out, feel free to do so. I thought they were really cool. You know, because his presentation's good and all that. I'm not very uh, well-educated. <laughs> it's shocker, I know. But, but... I like the I like his videos because he he is very well educated and it shows you know like maybe somewhere along the line he took a class or three that I didn't take or 
You know, he's just world smarter than I am. I wouldn't be surprised if it's both, but I like his presentation and uh, his videos are very insightful. Not unlike someone I know. Um, I would answer the question that Coltane posed, though, in his uh, video, which you responded to. I would answer his question like this. A combination of female-owned group gender preference and motivated self-interest, which is the engine of capitalism. I think that he's correct about all ex that he said, except for what you mentioned, um, including that female predilections are a major driver, which pretty is pretty much obvious. Um, but your mention of a more nuanced perspective pertaining to top-down social control by those in power um, was insightful and quite interesting. Oh, and um, I trolled uh, your response video to Coltane's channel, okay? So I hope he, he picks that up and runs with it. You know, I haven't heard anything since, so it, it's been a while. So I don't know if he shot you a message like, oh, touche, but maybe hopefully he did, right? And hopefully he saw my comment. Um, your video unsubscribe. I'm going to ask everyone who is Eric the Redshift, the one and only, to go on ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I mean, it couldn't hurt, couldn't hurt. Uh, everyone else, eh, eh, whatever. You know who you are. I had some recent subscribers. That <laughs> the, this woman and this man, I met him on this video. I'll probably make a video after I get done with another project I got coming up in 40 days. Well, 40 days from the 14th. 46 days, actually. So I'll probably make a video. I might be able to squeeze it out before then. But anyway, they they subscribe oh did you guys see um what just happened there that has never happened to me in a real fight okay i've been jumped multiple times it's never happened okay the closest time it ever did get did happen i used my elbows to block the guy stomping on my head and then i swizzled around and got up so it's hard it was harder playing this video game clicking the buttons and uh, doing a ufc match than it was fighting real people in a life and death situation so i mean really so I thought that I thought I should go ahead and mention that because I was playing this like, push the buttons. <laughs> okay, it was difficult. But all right, yeah, go ahead and subscribe, Red Chip. What's up? Um, your video, Propaganda in Alone Together. Uh, this show seems to be like, it, it seems to have taken up superficiality as a form of spirituality. Not unlike the adherence of Judaism which are the Pharisees, the scribes, the Sadducees, and so on, uh, found in the Holy Bible. Briefo's Law, oh yeah, and um, before I say that, um, I remember that Jews have like a matrilineal system where the whether or not their Jews goes through the mother rather than the father, patrilineal. So I thought I'd go ahead and mention that. Um, Briefo's law is in effect, thus the more matriarchal or matrilineal in their case, the same difference, right? Uh, matrilineal, matriarchal. So um, the more matriarchal the society is, the more savage it will be, which pretty much points out that, yeah, they're going to be more carnal. Um, about Frederick Douglass, he was the only man at the Seneca Falls Convention of 1848 which is where women requested and got the unearned privilege of voting without registering for selective service. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, like all men. All men have to register for selective service. There's like no option for us to just, you know, not as there is with women. Um, also, Frederick Douglass was indeed a high-voiced, fat, lazy, effeminate man who was raised by a single mother. And I think also he was a slave at one point. Either that or his parents were, I can't remember. But yeah, okay, so he's just full-blown slave morality, raised by a single mother, lazy, fat, and weak. Um, slipping a bit of alcohol into the AA members drink, uh, your video. Firstly, um, what are your thoughts on gold bonds? I've asked you that before. But I'm currently on social security disability insurance, which is another way of saying I'm doomed. Uh, and if I make any money, they'll deduct it from my Gibbs, basically, my unearned income. Now, I hate this system, and like I say, I want to be rehabilitated just like if someone said, what do you need? I would say this, 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 and that. Bam, you know how much money they would save? Not only that, single mothers get like, what was it? I think I did the calculations. It's like, what, what I make in a year off of Social Security Disability 
from from based on the calculations that they did before while from when I was working, which is minimum wage, give or take, um, I make about as much as it was like something crazy. Like they make ten times as much as I do just for having a kid or something. It was crazy. Like I just remember thinking, what? So they could, I mean, eight or ten of me for every one single mother. Think about that. And I want nothing more to be productive. They want nothing more to not be productive. So I just remember it's a monster. And they don't want me rehabilitated. They want me in this position, like quicksand, as I get older and older. All I need is this, that, and other thing, and I'll be good to go. But okay, if you want to um, mention um, gold bonds or what you think about them, especially because I can't cash anything out, so it's got to be pure holdings, uh, go on ahead and let me know. If you want to, Mr. Redshift. If not, I'm looking it up on my own. Um, when you say evolution, I hear the relative adaptation of the creation of Yahweh or Jehovah, whichever name you like. And I believe that um, we have indeed adjusted, uh, epigenetically speaking, to different environments. However, I also believe that the mental factor of those epigene of the epigenetic adjustments. Which I guess you could argue that, oh, they are physical. But anyway, um, I think that the mental factor or choice overrides the physical factor or, let's say, straight up genetics influencing choice. Right? Like what, what they would choose. Right? And so I know, because I know Caucasian men who whine about the cold, and it's obvious to me. It's like, dude, just like we were bred for the cold or supposedly came from the cold so one would think that they're good to go genetically but no it's i believe it's the person right they're they're weak-minded or weak-bodied and they just prefer this or that i like the cold you know but my dad doesn't and he whines about it. i might move south you know or guys like it's too cold mostly fat guys it's too cold or too warm here it's hot it's hot i'm like move north <laughs> it's not rocket science people okay but they should just move south and move north respectively uh, which you yourself alluded to so it's not like it's you know super duper hard to figure out but anyway um no fap for the win all right no fap for the win um i've been forgotten fury and i'll kill you with my teacup i'll catch you in the next one if your third leg is exactly too big enough then pound the like button if your Johnson is just small enough, then have some fun with the dislike button. Peace. I mean war. Did you know that at least 75% of bitches suffer from some kind of hearing loss? This alarming statistic means that more likely than not, talking isn't the most effective way to communicate with a bitch. That's when you have to hit her. Whoa, what? You tell her what you want her to do. If she say no, hit the bitch. Simple. But I... I couldn't hit Sarah. I couldn't hit any woman. Has not hitting the bitch been working? I mean, scientifically speaking, has not hitting the bitch achieved the desired results? No way. I just... I... I can't. I, I couldn't. Tom, I won't. Tom, take a deep breath. It's okay. People have phobias. Some niggas can't cross bridges. You can't go upside a bitch's head. Okay, we can beat this. Tom, this is my bottom bitch sweetest taboo. Now she's gonna help you learn how to reestablish dominance at home. Hello. Taboo will be playing the role of your wife. Now, approach Taboo, grab her arm firmly, and command her to leave with you. Okay. Sarah, get your behind. Stop, stop. Say bitch. Do I have to call her a bitch, really? Yes, Tom, you have to call her a bitch. Trust me on this one. I've done the research. Now try again. Bitch, get your behind. Ass. 